So hey, welcome back to Garage Laverty where we're at it again. We got some new stuff in here, new project, biting off a whole big chunk of work. And I was gonna do this as a reveal video, but it turns out it's hard to use the internet sometimes. Um, my camera did not cooperate. We're just, I'm refilming it here real quick the next day. Instead of this being a reveal video, this will be the video that follows up the reveal and kind of gives an impression of what I'm going to do, where my plans lie for the vehicle that I'm currently using as a tripod. So before I go there, just a quick little background as to how this ended up happening now. Um, originally I had a plan and that plan was to stop doing all the projects all at the same time. And my plan for 2020 was work on my Dakota, make it a capable trail runner, off-road, camping rig, tents, awnings, the whole nine yards. And the second part of that was going to be prepare my ZXR250, which you guys have seen on this channel already, or you haven't, um, to go to Bonneville and go land speed racing. The world ended, and the amount of work the... the Bonneville bike was going to take was just considering it was going to be tough to get parts and I was going to need help and I couldn't see people or talk to them. It was just too much. So I backburnered that and my 2021 project was to find a motor, build a motor, and then find a car to put it in. And with the Bonneville bike shut down, and just kind of sitting and waiting for the world to turn back on. I'm like, well, I'll look for a motor this year instead. I'll build an engine for 2020. I'll buy a car 2021. Excuse me. So, last, last week, came up on a motor. I'm like, oh, cool. Put a few hundred bucks into it, make an easy 400 horsepower. Have a good time. And not even worried about the car. The plan was build the engine, put it under a bench. And then the car showed up. So what was buy a motor, six to 12 months later buy a car became buy a motor, 72 hours later buy a car. So, whoops. Um, this is going to be the next project for I don't even know how long. There's a shit ton of work to do here. And... So hopefully, since it can't go anywhere and the world's kind of on pause, this will be what keeps me busy. And there's been some requests that I keep the internet updated. So I will make a little video series while I do this. Um, I wouldn't expect regularity. I'm not a sponsored YouTuber. I don't have connections to people who want to give me free stuff. So it's like, eh, it'll get done when it gets done, right? No. I'm no roadkill. I'm no Finnegan's Garage. I'm no connections or any of that. Um, the one thing I will say is I don't want this to be like every other channel I watch. And I watch a lot of YouTube car guys and I love them all. But this will not be one of those fast forward video series where somebody sits and you know, does some expository speech in front of the camera and then you watch 10 minutes of everything on fast forward with, you know, some licensed, uh, royalty-free music. That's just not how I work. I don't have time to run that much camera. I would expect this is going to be more like a update vlog. Hey, here's what I did. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what's next. Um, I wouldn't expect to see a lot of, like, nuts and bolts. Um, I'm no Project Binky. I don't have all the tools to sit there and just do fabrication video. It's going to be what it's going to be. So a little bit different than what everybody might be used to when they watch YouTube. But it's what I can do with my one little camera on a box of painter's plastic that I'm using as my tripod right now. So as it goes, that's kind of how I got here, what I'm going to be doing. So. Let me pick up the camera and let's go for a field trip and I'll show you the car. So this is the Bonneville bike. It will eventually have a little baby turbo up here. Um, it will have 
fuel injection instead of carburetors. And that's just not in the cards for this year. There's the Ducati that I've been doing a ton of work on lately. And here's the engine. So this LM7 2001 Chevy motor will be going into this guy. I know, I know, I'm gonna get that whole built Ford tough with Chevy stuff. It's a cool car, it's a cool motor, it's the right tool for the job, and it's my money. So yeah, right now you're looking at 1964 Ford Falcon with an inline six that will go away. Behind it is a two-speed Ford-O-Matic, which will go away. Out back, it's a little tiny rear end, which will go away. I love the red wheels, but they're gonna be the wrong lug pattern for how this all comes together. And all of that will go into what's left of this. And I have a little bit of floorboard work to do. By a little, I mean a lot, because there's daylight everywhere. And fiberglass. So, yeah, I gotta put new floors in this. I've gotta deal with some interior stuff. These very nicely etched windows, gotta go. And then, at some point, this will all get lifted up off the ground. That'll go underneath it. I, <coughs> excuse me, an AR5, five speed, will go behind it which I still have to go find. And out back, hopefully a 88373 with a limited slip so I can actually put down that power. So in the end, it'll look a lot like this, but a little bit lower. And with some Panawata Rota Sport Light mini banana sport kind of looking dealies. So a little bit lower. Still gonna be rusty, a little bit louder. Um, and yeah, so I'll bring you along as I build it. It's not quite what my old Valiant was, but it's way cooler in a lot of ways. So it's gonna be a blast. But yeah, so this is it for now. And I'll bring you along and we'll see where it goes. But. Since I gotta do it out of my own wallet and I'm not sponsored, it may take a while. So, lots of junkyard runs, lots of waiting for parts to be affordable, and at some point, it'll be a functional car. Hopefully it's a functional car before I retire, because, well, if it's anything like the Neon was, I don't know if I'll really wanna wait 15 years to finish this guy, so. You gotta figure out what I'm gonna do in here. Don't really need the air conditioning. It's gonna take a bunch of cleanup, but hey, at least the seats are nice. So until next time, I'll catch you later. Have fun. And let me turn this around and hopefully I'm in frame. So until next time, peace.